Okay, so what we're going to do in this section is talk about properties of logarithms. And uh, some of the things that you need to be aware of is that if you are multiplying the logarithms, then what you're going to do is uh, take these numbers on the inside and you're going to turn the logarithm into plus. Just like you would, just like what how regular multiplication works. With quotient property, if you divide two uh, items inside a logarithm, you can separate the logs with a minus. And then with the power property, um, if you get if you have an exponent up here, then that exponent can move into the front. Okay, so those are your properties. They're not difficult properties to use. They, they usually go fairly smoothly with things, um, but you just have to practice them a bunch to get comfortable with them. So, with some examples here, uh, let's look at this log base four. I've got three divided by seven. I'm told what log 3 is base, and I'm told what log 7 is. And both of those are base 4s. So um, what I want to do is uh, separate this log base 4 of 3 divided by 7. I want to move this apart. So I'm going to take the 3, and I'm going to have log base 4 of 3 minus, and then I'm going to take that 7, and I'm going to have log base 4 of 7. And so then then what I'm going to do is come back up here and borrow from my decimals. So I've got 0.792 minus 1.404. So when you put those things together, you get negative 0.612. All right, so with uh, log f base 4 of 21, what we really need to see on this is that we've got a log base 4 of 3 times 7. And, and so now what we can do is we can go back up here to our product property, and I'm going to have log base 4 of 3 plus log base 4 of 7. And so what that's going to give me is the 0.792 plus 1.404. And you can either add that up or punch it into your calculator, but it should get you to 2.196. Okay. On the last guy, we've got log base 4 of 49. So when you look at this, you need to see we got a log base 4 of 7 squared. And this goes with the last guy where that exponent is just going to come out in front of the logarithm. So what we're really working with is 2 log base 4 of 7. And so when we work that out, we know that 7 is 1.404, so I have 2 times 1.404 and when you multiply that on your calculator or by hand, either way, you get 2.808. Okay, so if we're going to expand the log, then uh, what we want to do is, is from those rules from the previous uh, slide, we just are going to remember that anytime you have division, that you're going to subtract things. So this is going to be log base 6 of 5x cubed minus log base 6 of y. Okay, and um, that's good. And this log base 6 of y part, he's, he's basically, he's done now. There's nothing else going on. But if you'll notice, there's still some stuff that's going on uh, in this guy. There's still some stuff going on in there. And multiplication is one of those things. It's 5 times x cubed. So I have log base 6 of 5 plus log base 6 of x cubed minus log base 6y, okay? Now, if you'll look, uh, the first guy and the last guy are done, but inside the middle guy, I've got x cubed. And so my final step is log base 6, 5 of 5 plus 3 log base 6x minus log base 6 of y and there's that guy all spread out okay and then uh, over here log of 3 um, 3x to the fourth so this is just going to be log 3 
plus log x to the fourth, it's multiplication. And then that 4 has to come to the front, so I have log 3 plus 4 log x. And so there's that guy. Um, condense, condensing a log, uh, when you condense a log, you just go in reverse order. So if I've got uh, this 3 right here, he needs to come up into the exponent. So that's going to be log, log 9 plus log 2 to the third power minus log 3. Alright, now I've got the the plus sign here which means I'm going to have multiplication. So I've got l log 9 times 2 to the third minus log 3 and uh, now I've got now I've got a minus sign and a minus sign is division so this guy's gonna be log of 9 times 2 cubed over 3 and we can do 9 times 2 cubed over 3 so this is gonna end up being not log of 9 times 8 divided by 3 which is log 24 All right, so the change of base formula is going to come in really handy, especially if you're using a TI-84 or the TI-83. Uh, the change of base formula will allow you to graph different graphs, will allow you to find logs with different bases. On the TI Inspire, once you plug a log in, you can actually tell it what base to use. So this isn't quite as big of a deal, but it depends on what you're doing. So your change of base formula is given to you right here, and um, it's, it's really not too horribly challenging. Um, and and just to see it in action, basically we've got we've got this log base three of eight, and we want to be able to change the base on that. Well, first off, we have to understand that that um, b can't be one and c can't be one. Okay, those are the first two things. But then to change this to a common log, you just take the log of the big number in base ten divided by the log of the base in base 10. And the big number in this case is not a 10, it's an 8. And that's your change of base formula. That's that's all there is to it. It's it's not a hard formula. And this is a common log. If we wanted to look at it as a natural log, it'd be the natural log of 8 divided by the natural log of 3. Okay? All it is, all it is is the big number on the top and the little number on the bottom with whatever base that you need to have. It's not a hard deal. Don't let this part be hard. And then you can punch it in your calculator. So log log 8 divided by log 3 is the same as the natural log of 8 divided by the natural log of 3. And so both of those are going to equal the same thing. And when I punch this into my calculator, I get 1.893. So that's all there is to it. But don't, don't make this, there are other things that are hard. Change of base is not hard.